up on this episode of Performance TV, we'll show you how to save big by reducing the drag on your rig. And we'll have a couple bikes rocking some Kiriaki. Welcome to another edition of Performance TV. You know, diesel fuel, Tommy, just keeps going up and up and up. And all the trucks that are out on the road and rigs, race rigs, everything else, man, we could, we'd like to save a little money. We found something here that's going to help us out. Yeah, Brian from Aerotech Caps has got us something for the so for the wheels here that helps increase the fuel mileage, makes things more aerodynamic. And if you're going to put the skirts on the trailers, why not do the whole package? Correct. What happens is once you have a skirt and you have tank fairings on your tractor rig, if you can maintain that airflow over the deep well cavity of the wheels, both on your tractor tandems and trailer tandems, it'll help maintain that airflow. And we've seen uh, savings as high as two and a half percent by wow. using these caps. Yeah, I mean, a big hole in the center of the wheel, the air comes over, it's gotta create disturbance. It does, it goes inside, tumbles around and comes out. We're gonna flatten that out and maintain that nice linear airflow straight back. Yeah, and these come in all different colors. You've got black, you've got white, you've got silver. Correct. So you can kind of mi mix and match whatever your rig is, you can match whatever you like. Plus, you probably do some custom stuff as well. We do custom for large fleet orders, yes. Yeah, if you have a big big trucking company, you want to match all the trucks, you'll do a different special color for exactly. them. Exactly. What I like about these, they're super simple, Kathy. They're super easy to put on. Yeah, and, and Brian, not, not every rig has the same wheels. I mean, this particular truck has aluminum wheels. You've got them for a little bit of everything? We do. We have uh, a ring. All of the AccuRide and Alcoa, who makes almost all of the aluminum rims, we use a half-inch retainer ring. All of the different steel rims use a 5 retainer ring which comes with an adjustable union which lets you fit it exactly to what you need with no extra tools so let's say just one truck how much fuel savings average over a month well if you figure the average truck runs 10,000 miles a month and you put them just on your tractor tandems it's about $55 a month in savings if you're running an average at the seven and a half miles to the gallon and running 10,000 miles a month. Put a calculator to that. Start thinking about, you know, adding some rigs into the fleet and over 12 months. Holy cow. Yep. It's about $1,300 a year in fuel savings. Wow, that's amazing. One of the things I like about this is the simplicity of how easy these are to install. A guy might, he can even do this on the road. If he's traveling, you know, over, over the road, he can put these on in, you know, five minutes. You can have sure, these on. Sure, exactly. Now, where'd you come up with the idea for this clip? This is pretty neat. This is how they attach to the vehicle. Right. People wanted to have full access to the inside of here to eat, reach the air valve, to check for smoking lug nuts, check for leaks on the oil hub. So we needed to come up with a way to attach it somewhere other than on the hub. And uh, the best way to do that was to use some type of a clip on the bead. Hold it and on the we, yeah, yeah, so we worked with a company using a special spring steel and a design to help us reach in there and get this to hold on and, uh, and clip onto the, uh, the different rims. So there's a clip for aluminum and there's a clip for steel. So when you order, you have to specify what kind of wheels you're going to put them right. on. Well, one of the tricks you showed me is you hold this up here, and we can put a little mark on the, uh, the wheel, and then you place your clip right here. You want to make a little mark on the tire. And now we know where to put that at. Exactly. We can do it all the way around. We'll hammer these on and put the put it on. All right, sounds good. And the only tool I need is a hammer. And one of the, the tips you should is have a little bit of soap that helps these clips go on. So we're just gonna apply a little soap to the clip. You want it right on the outside of these right. fangs that reach between the rim and the rubber. If these tires have been seated on that bead for a long time, they really set well. So you wanna this have something to help it slide yeah, over that rubber. Slide it in. Yep. So this is how simple it is. Right in the center of our mark. Yep. Tap it on there like a wheel weight. You got it. Now, you can pull on that. It's not going anywhere. And all it's doing is retaining the pressure from the ring to keep that disc from, from coming off. So it doesn't use a whole lot of pressure, but you can pull on there very aggressively. All right, let's get the rest on. Now, Brian, we got all the clips in place. Now, this is super easy to put on. We just hold this up and put a retaining ring around it to hold it in place. That's correct. These little notches in here are made to pass the clips through. So all we're doing is sticking this clip on. It works best to go 180 degrees apart. Snapping this ring under here. Sometimes it works better if you take the window off. 
once you get these all on, you have to align the ring a little bit. Just kind of make some minor but it's, adjustments. It's on there. You want to know how well that's going to hold it on. You were jerking on that pretty yeah. good. It won't come off. And then this, so it doesn't rotate. This access window here is made out of polycarbonate. You cannot break it. You can hammer on it. It takes stone chips. And by keying it in here, even though the wheel's rotating, it will never go anywhere. It gives you visual access. Yeah, if you're, you're driving down the road, you want to check, you can walk by the truck, just take a quick look in there, make sure there's no oil leaking out of the hub. Correct. You're still able to access that. Still also yep. be able to get to the, uh, the air valve, check the tire No pressure. tools, full access, and you can just snap it right back on. I like these. These are nice, very simple, but yet have a very good purpose, and they're going to save you some money. Definitely. Wow, that looks great and money saving. We have more money saving ideas. We're going to do the trailer coming up next on Performance TV. Welcome back to Performance TV. We've moved outside, Brian. We've already put the Aerotech caps on the trailer here, and that's not the, as promised. That's not the only thing we're going to do to try to get the air away from this and make it a little smoother. Aerotech caps, you also have a trailer skirt. We do. The best thing about the trailer skirt is it's a modular design. The whole thing ships uh, in a box like this, common carrier, and there's 12 panels that all interlock with a fish scale design. It allows you to put it on with one person. You know, Brian, what would kind of be cool is if you could kind of light this up somehow. Do you yeah. have a way to do we that? Also, we also have <coughs> reflectors that come with each, each uh, set. These reflectors go on right here. They're out of the slipstream, and they go on each panel, which allow, allows it to look like it's a lighted skirt. So what we do is just stick these on every time that the, the skirt <coughs> has a new panel. And we use a reference point right here so that as you're passing this skirt at night uh, in the left lane, it almost looks like it's lit. Yes, it's going to light up really nice. Yep. So we just keep adding the panels together as we go down the line and we terminate at the landing gear. What he's doing underneath right here is grabbing each I-beam under the trailer, which you can see by these rivet marks. We've designed an integrated gusset which doesn't require any brackets on the inside. And so this hook right here grabs each I-beam. We've got a counter-opposing J-bolt that grabs the I-beam and cinches it down tight. So each one of these panels is freestanding uh, by being cinched onto each and every beam working your way down the trailer. Brian, you spoke about when we put the caps on both the, the truck and, and back here on the trailer about uh, savings. Can we expect the same kind of thing out of putting the skirt on? Yes, yeah, some of my trailer skirts generally, if they're over 30 inches, develop about 5% fuel savings. So when you combine our two and a half with the uh, wheel covers on both tandem sets and another five here, you know, we're getting up near 7% total fuel savings. Well, that was super easy to install, Brian. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. And the best part is that if you do inadvertently damage one panel, you only have to do one instead of all of them. I like it. Well, Tommy, that's not the only thing we have. Brian has something else for us, and we're going to move right here to the back of the trailer. Brian, as we move to the back, we, what do we have here? These are vortex generators. It kind of works like a plow in a field. It actually trips the air and creates a little mini tornado. Actually, each one of these makes two of them. And the purpose of that is to displace the air further back to release the, the vacuum pocket that the back of the trailer creates. You've got a low pressure area that is creating drag and holding the trailer back. So by accelerating the air through these vortex generators further back, we're reducing that drag. Certain spacing between them? About 12 inches for our design. So we have self-adhesive. It's a special acrylic adhesive. And you, as long as you clean it real well, you can just put these on just like this. They'll work like this, but you can't pressure wash your truck for two days after you put them on for the adhesive to Make, completely cure. Sure, that makes sense. Black or white, depending on what you want to go with. But that's not where it stops. We're also going to help even more with that vacuum pocket. And we're going to move to the top. Right. Guess we're taking things to new heights up here. We have our vortex generators that we're going to take all the way up the side. But Brian, you've got something special here on the top that's really going to help with the vacuum. It really does. What happens on a lot of the trailers is that you've got the header for the two barn doors that sticks up higher than the roof of the whole trailer. We've made this wing with vortex generators on the trailing edge that helps that air transition cleanly over this bar. So instead of the air hitting the bar and flying up in the air, we're creating a nice ramp that transitions that air cleanly around and down with a series of vortexes to help reduce that vacuum pocket. 
No one wants to put a hole in the roof of their trailer. We've designed it with a torsion bar connecting these pieces, and it allows you to just bolt this on the flange on the edge of the roof on both sides with two bolts here and two bolts there. And the, you'll set it and forget it's even there, and it, uh, it, it'll save you another 2% on your uh, fuel mileage. Well, you know, Brian, everything that you've shown to us has been very quick, easy, simple to install. And if you want to find out more, we can just check out the website that you see there at the bottom of your screen. We'll have more coming up next on Performance TV. I'm ready to come down now. <laughs>